Hi guys, Alice Taylor here and today we're going to have a look at the brand new Callaway XR16 driver. So let's take a quick look at some of the technical things about the club head and then we'll get into hitting some actual shots. Okay then guys, so the experts at Boeing have worked with Callaway to reposition the speed step on the top of the head to decrease drag which will help keep that club head speed up. We see a much bigger footprint, so they're able to get the centre of gravity lower and further back in the head. And also the arm auto face for this year is up to 19% thinner, so we should get quicker ball speeds off all over the club face. And certainly in underneath, you know, this is a, a driver that really, really screams aerodynamic. Proof of the pudding, do we get a little bit more club head speed, you know, when fast meets forgiveness, that's the strap line for this year. We've still got the adjustability around the hosel as ever. And for this year with XR16, we've got the speeder shaft as stock. But there are some fantastic upgrades available at no extra cost. Okay guys, so we can see there Callaway have kind of left no stone unturned. Strap line for this year is when forgiveness meets fast. So Callaway have looked after the forgiveness with where they've moved the weight back in the head to make it more forgiving and make it quicker off the face. Uh, Boeing have obviously worked on the aerodynamics to make it move quicker. Now I've already hit a few shots off camera. We're going to hit another half dozen on Skytrack. I can give you some feedback on looks and feel and then we'll look at performance, see how XR16 stacks up for this year. So I've got this set at 9.5 degree stiff shaft in the Speeder 565 Evolution. So this is one of the stock shafts, but Callaway are doing quite a few shafts with no charge upgrade. So when you get fitted, it's important that if this shaft doesn't quite suit, there are some different options that won't cost you any extra. So when you pop it down behind the ball, obviously the big noticeable difference from last year's model is the footprint is a very very different shape and that obviously is to get that weight a bit further back in the head to make it more forgiving so off we go and it feels fast i mean that that is one very very noticeable thing some of the manufacturers kind of have maybe gone a little bit more muted in the noise this sounds like it explodes off the face and for me personally i like that you know, I do like a driver that feels like it's going a long way. Obviously, I don't always hit it a huge distance. So I think it's nice for me to feel I'm getting that little bit extra out of it. So first shot there, really good strike. That one may be a little bit more towards the heel, but still has flown really, really well down the range. I mean, the one thing I would say is a lot of my recent videos, it's very, very cold down here, but at least the numbers off Skytrack with it being closed data, you won't see that. That's fine. You, you're just going to get some very consistent numbers. Shot number three. Again, very, very solid. Tiny bit towards the toe, but very, very good strike. And like we tend to see with launch monitors, that will probably get me some pretty good numbers, just watching that on the iPad. Hmm. Interesting when, when we look at kind of 10 shots as an average. Certainly even for nine and a half, this gets the ball up in the air and does really, really get it out there. I mean, XR driver at Heron's Reach was very, very popular in fittings, and I think this will be same again, if not more so. The last couple. Again, very, very good. I mean, for me, none of these will be missing the fairway. Generally speaking, my stock shot is a little bit right to left, and all of these shots are just turning over a tiny bit. 
But one final ball, and then we'll look at some numbers. Having said, wouldn't miss any fairways. I think that one probably would have just snuck off to the left. A little bit more out the toe. But generally, guys, from the ones I hit off camera and the ones I've just hit there, none of those, I would say, were poor strikes, poor shots. So let's look at some averages. See how XR16 and Callaway stacks up. Okay, guys, so we look at the averages there. Club head speed, roundabout where I am at the moment, 104. Ball speed, okay at 150. Kind of felt like it would be a little bit quicker off the face. Really good launch angle for me at 13.7, but it did spin it a lot. Now, in defense of this model, I think possibly the pro head would be better for me, but carry at 246, pretty much where I would expect to be, and total 267, just back on where I would say, but that's simply down to just spinning a bit too much. Okay guys, so we looked at some numbers for XR16. What do we think? I think it felt very fast off the face. Didn't necessarily see that stack up with the numbers for me personally, but they were very consistent, the numbers, even though some of the strikes weren't quite there. So I would definitely say, yeah, it's a very, very forgiving club. Uh, did I see more club head speed out of the design? Not so much, but I think a lot of the testing that's done, you know, it's very robot tested. So I think guys might see a little bit more on certain swings, but for me personally, no. And probably the one disappointment for me was it did spin a bit too much, despite the strikes. Now, like I said, when we were looking at the numbers, though, I think there's a fair reason for that. I think the way this is designed is to get the ball up in the air and give you more control. Now, I actually think the pro version of this, if I set it up exactly the same, I think will perform much, much more like I would want it to perform. I think for a lot of guys, though, about need to get the ball up in the air and get it carrying out there, this will be a fantastic club. I mean, if you love your Callaway product, you definitely need to try this. If you've been wary with some of the Callaway stuff in the past, you should, should still try this, because I think XR16 will be a monster of a driver in 2016. So guys, thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Appreciate you taking the time to watch as ever. Leave any comments below. Let me know if you've already tried it. How did you find it? You might be someone who's already gone from XR to XR16. You know, let me know what you've really enjoyed about the head. If you don't already, subscribe to the channel. Uh, hopefully catch up with some of you guys down here in the future. Stay in contact.